named Manuel Bonilla asked by Twitter, will Ron Paul run for president in 2012? Oh, uh, that's a long time off. I don't have any plans to do that. <laughs> Miami, Mike, Independent Line for Dr. Paul. Go ahead, please. Yeah, good morning, uh, Mr. Paul. Um, supposing we enforce one single labor law, uh, equal competition all over the world, minimum wage competition, just that single law, could you please count what would be the economic result if we only enforce that and don't bring out anything else? Because I think this would be done easily and it's going to have the largest impact on the economy. I, I would say let all uh, labor uh, costs be dictated by the market. Let not the government have any interference in what the price of labor should be, whether it's minimum wages or, or artificially high wages by force of government. The market should set labor and then you would have full employment. Next is Ann Arbor, Michigan. Good morning uh, to Joel, Democrats line. Hi. Joe, you're on the air. Uh, so, uh, Congressman Paul, I, I'm afraid I lay the blame at the door of the legislature. Why is that, sir? Well, you know, in particularly times like this, we need to help our uh, suffering neighbors. But the legislature refuses to tax and instead accomplishes its goals uh, by letting the Fed inflate the currency. I wonder if you could comment on this. Well, whom are you going to tax? Uh, people are paying too much taxes already, uh, so that, that that's that's not going to work. But I agree with your statement. Look to the legislature; uh, they are the source of the problem. Yes, uh, they're they're in collaboration with the Federal Reserve. Uh, but if you're going to start bailing out, uh, you don't want the Fed involved. That means you're right; you have to raise taxes. But raising taxes right now in the midst of a recession or any time. Just to, it just destroys capital, and capital is what's, what's in, in, in the banks and is true savings, and then you don't have anybody to invest in, build businesses, and, then, and create jobs. So you don't, you don't want a tax, and you don't want our government to go into further in debt, and you don't want the Fed to print. But I would not uh, think for a minute that any solution, any good, could come from raising taxes in order to prop up a system that we created in the legislature. So I agree probably with half of what you're saying. The source of the problem is in the legislature that has uh, permitted uh, this to go by. For instance, the housing bubble occurred because of uh, the Fed Easy Credit. But also the legislature, the Congress, passed laws that actually dictated that banks make these subprime loans, give loans to people who don't qualify, and it's like a Christmas tree. They buy a house for $100,000, and then the bank goes up to 150 dollars and they borrow against this, so that was the result of legislation, so it was artificial, it looked great, but it's like a, a drug addict taking drugs and feeling good, and they don't want the, uh, to have the symptoms of removing the drug. So someday the drug will be, should be removed, or we're going to kill the patient. What about a tax specifically to fund the war in Afghanistan? Um, no, I mean, my answer is the same, no taxes, we should be lowering taxes, but we shouldn't be in war. We don't need any of those wars. I mean, we're in a crisis now, a financial crisis, and and we have a foreign policy that's a, a major uh, reason why we're in this financial crisis. We spend over a trillion dollars a year in maintaining our empire around the world. We're in 130 uh, country. We have over 700 bases. We're still in Korea. We're in Japan. We're in Germany. We're all over the Middle East. We have, this, and we're talking now. I mean, the president is really that speech the other day. To me, it was like conditioning us for the next war in, in Pakistan. So, no, you don't raise taxes. That will only encourage them. What we need is take all the money away from them and say, bring the troops home, save the money, defend this country. We'd be much safer because it's our presence, especially in the Middle East, that motivates people to become radical uh, extremists and uh, po potential terrorists that will commit suicide. It's because they detest occupation of their land and we we get into trouble and we think oh we need to occupy more countries only compounding our problems both uh, internationally and for our for our safety but it also compounds our financial present problem I think the worst thing we can do is raise taxes to pay for that war. We know last call Matthew Republican line. Hi, that's all my own. You are 